Hey YouTube, this is uh, College Duke. Just going to show you a tutorial about how to switch some faces. And so you can do this to uh, get back at your boss. You can do this to mess around with your friend or just do whatever you like. So right now, with uh, right here, we have Gwen Stefani um, with a weird looking hairdo. And I thought this was a good picture. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in I'm going to paste in a picture of Brad Pitt. And so as you can see here, they're kind of looking sort of the same way. You can see they're sort of looking down and to the right. And so I thought this would be a good picture just because that's kind of what we're looking for. And so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my quick selection tool, have Brad Pitt, have Mr. Pitt selected, and select his face just right there. And so this is just a super rough selection, no ears, hardly any hair, no worries. And then I'm just going to invert that selection by clicking Control Shift I. And so that selects everything around it. So you can click Delete or you can erase it all, but I'm just, I just click Delete. Um, then deselect that. Next thing we are going to do is we have to match up the face, and so we have to transform a little. I'm going to turn down the opacity just because that will help you um, kind of judge a little bit more. And so I'll click Control T, and then I'll just come down here. Oops. And you want if you click Control Shift T, it'll all come down into the same, same around this little anchor tool right here. And you can see his cheeks coming around right there. Doesn't look too bad. I mean, this is pretty rough. Let's see how that looks at full. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. It looks fine. Maybe just a touch up. Yeah, right there. Cool. No click OK. And so now we have to play the blending game. And so we got to make his face look like it's natural on her body. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to erase his hair because that just just doesn't fit one bit. So erase the top of his forehead. And so you can see it's semi starting to come together but we still got to change a bunch of stuff um, but before we go into any changes I'm just gonna fix it fix his cheeks up a little bit cool so now we have to make him look like it's on her body so first thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna make and I'm gonna make an adjustment layer and so you go right here and then you go what is what do we, we mean right here I mean to the create new adjustment layer which is the like the little uh, half and half circle you go hue and saturation and then just click OK just for now and then as you can see right here it's if you do hue and saturation it'll apply to the whole thing and so every single layer someone click control alt G and so you can see here it puts a little arrow down to the layer below it that means it's a clipping mask and so that means it's only going to apply to the pixels of Brad Pitt right here and so you can just double click that to adjust it and then you can kind of just mess around and see what you like and so I kind of just wanted his face just a little touch more yellow so I'm going to say plus 10 right there saturation is just a touch down probably at my, my minus 24 right there I mean looks alright you guys can mess around with however you like it looks doesn't look too bad and click OK cool um, that's that right there and then next thing I'm going to do is I want to mess around with the contrast just a little bit so I'm going to go image adjustment curves and so a really cool way to do some custom contrast is to you pull up these curves and so you go image adjustment curves or control M and then so you have all your dark colors over here and then all your light colors over here and so as you can see like this yellow back or um, on Brad Pitt here like the whites in his eyes are all the, the circle is showing over here and then like the dark of his chin is showing down there so the darks are down here lights up here I'm just gonna turn the lights up a little bit but then turn the darks down a little bit so you can see it gets the brings out the shadows a little bit but puts them down a little bit cool looks all right and yep another way you can do that is you can go image brightness and contrast image adjustment brightness and contrast and you can switch the contrast right here and just mess around and just do whatever you'd like and you know do all that turn that back to zero click cool and uh, yep so then next thing we do is we have to make this uh just blend a little bit more and we have to add some shadows and so I'm going to take my burn tool and as you can see here uh, Gwen has a little bit of shadow right here and she has a little bit of shadow so basically on the sides of her cheek you can turn down Brad's layer and then with the burn tool just come over here and just paint at it and so you can see here it's starting to add some shadow and so we're just continuing the shadow that's on her face I'm going to come to the other side add some shadow cool it looks a little bit better it looks pretty pretty awkward right now because you know it's not her but it's alright and then I'm gonna 
we need to make this, we need to make the forehead blend a little bit better. So I'm just going to take my eraser tool, I'm going to make the hardness all the way down, and I'm just going to just erase slight, oops, way too much. I'm going to turn the opacity down, then I'm just going to erase slightly at his forehead. So you can see here that it's, if we turn off Gwen, that it's really just blurring up his forehead, and so it blends a lot better. So you can see here that it just blends just pretty good, not too bad. Let me come down here and mess around with that just a little bit. Cool. And um, yeah, you know, that doesn't look too bad. That's how you put on another face on another person, just keys. You have to make sure they're kind of looking the same way and just put a matching game, the blending game. And so try to blend their forehead, try to match some of the same shadows. And yeah, so I hope this tutorial worked out for you. And if you want to, just subscribe to my uh, channel, get the latest updates about videos. And if you have any topics, please message me. I love when people message me and just give me any topic ideas. So go have fun with this and show your friends. Sounds good. All right, bye.